Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. A developing story out of Toronto where police confirm that they are investigating an overnight shooting outside of the home of rapper Drake. He Here's a live look this morning at the scene. This is outside 21 Park Lane Circle in North York, well known to be the home of the Toronto-born rapper. Details are still very limited at this point, but police confirm that they were called to the home around 2 o'clock this morning after reports of a shooting. And this is a look from our chopper as well at the home from above. You can see that there is police tape as well surrounding the front door of the property. We know that there was a suspect who fled in a vehicle, but so far there is no description available of Toronto that pop suspect. That sent one person to hospital with serious injuries. The violence happening outside of the home owned by rapper Drake. And that's where we find our Karen Seolan on Park Lane Circle. Karen, what is the latest here? Yeah, FISA police confirmed that they are investigating a shooting uh, that happened just outside Drake's mansion in Toronto's Bridal Path neighbor neighborhood. What we know so far is that shots rang out around 2 o'clock this morning and that a man police have said was not Drake was struck. Fortunately, he is expected to survive. Now, details are very limited at this point. You can see police have taped off um, the entire property as well as some properties neighboring Drake's mansion. Um, there are... Uh, uh, several orange evidence markers on the ground outside the main entrance gate where it actually appears this uh, shooting might have taken place. This is the video we captured from Chopper 24 uh, when investigators were in the courtyard area, the front property of Drake's home. And, and now what we know, of course, this shooting happened just outside of the gates. Uh, you can actually kind of see that. From- now to the bridal path area where police are updating their investigation just outside Drake's home. Let's listen in live. Pleased to be here today. I know there's a lot of interest in this incident, and I hope you can also appreciate that information is very limited at this time, so I only have so much. What I do know, I will advise you of, and I will take a few questions at the end. This morning at about 2 a.m., police were called to a shooting at the residence behind me here. When officers arrived, they located a male who was suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. That male was taken to hospital in serious condition. That person was working, apparently, as a security guard at the residence. He was standing outside of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. We have uh, individuals who obviously performed the shooting who were seen in a vehicle. I do not have a description of the vehicle or the suspects at this time. Again, it's very early on in the investigation. I cannot speak to a motive at this time because it's so early, but as we get information, we will share it with you. I expect to see an increased presence in this neighborhood for the next little while, but it's no different than any other shooting or firearm discharge. We'll have officers here looking for witnesses to come forward, as well as we can canvassing for video. I'll now take a few questions. Is Drake home and is he cooperating with this investigation? I cannot confirm if Drake was home at the time the incident occurred, but I can tell you that we are in contact with his team and they are cooperating. To what extent is the rat beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar part of the investigation? Focus. So, I am aware of what you're talking about, but uh, it is so early in the investigation that I, we don't have a motive at this time. Well, and so I cannot comment further on that. Well, there's, the motive may not be confirmed, if that is something that you're looking at, knowing that this beef crosses borders into the U.S. Is there anything being done in the investigation to maybe prevent a potential suspect from leaving Canada? So there is, this is no different than any other investigation, okay? Like, it's maybe more high profile because there's more people here, but we treat it like any other incident. So we'll be using all our resources. Our teams will be uh, doing as much as they can to investigate this, but it'll be no different than any other investigation at this time. Is shot still in serious condition? Have you been able to talk to him? Has he not been able to give you a suspect description? And how is there no video yet from the car that left? So I can tell you that uh, all I'm going to say about the victim is that he's still in the hospital in serious condition. And I'm not going to just, uh, uh, no, I'm not going to. Wow. Wow. Man, let's just, let's just, start, let's just, hey, man, listen, man, check it, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. 
man, this is something else, bro. I am really, really tripping off of the the way that this um this case is just opening and developing. Early, I was speaking, and and when I talked about it, I didn't know that it was a uh, it had been it was a drive by. Say maybe a drive by, maybe a walk up. We don't know, but people are are coming forward saying that, and, and namely, this is authority. So something of a car drive taken off from the scene. There, I don't know if there was cameras around or what, man. But I'm telling you now, there there there's um, there, this technology today. It's impossible to do something like this and something not be captured somewhere. You got door, the the ringers, you know. He, evidently, the security guard was outside of the gate. And this is how this whole thing transpired. And I'm thinking about it like, man, this, this here is kind of weird to me because Toronto, I think they, I don't even think they have no high rate of crime. U.S. now, if you'd have said that was somewhere here in, 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 in the States, yeah, I could ride with it more, you know, but... Uh, in Toronto, you, unless we just don't hear about it because it's Drake, you hearing about it. I never would have thought, you know, that that, you know, those guys over there was uh, getting busy like this, you know. And like I said, BT News and uh, all the different resources I'm listening to here. Shout out to them for covering this story, man. I'll put the links in the description. Um, but I'm just I, I'm just appalled at the fact of how this this thing is taking place. And it's tripping me out because now the reporters is asking the officer here, uh, the, the hey, did Kendrick Lamar do it? Pretty much, is he being questioned? They, they these people are this, this beef thing uh, uh, was supposed to be on wax, I believe, but they're taking it to the max now, and, and they're trying to you know th this new technology has it where people are convicting people before they can even get a trial. So Kendrick Lamar, do y'all think Kendrick Lamar did this? What do y'all think? Do y'all feel like, I mean, this is a whole different country. I had OG Pyru on earlier. He told y'all that boy ain't finna do nothing like this. OG Pyru said that's, but it was a drive-by. And I know people want to try to make it this and make it that. I'm not trying to report no fake news, no matter what you guys try to insinuate. I'm just talking about the fact of these reports are coming out and they're coming out steadily. And we're just pretty much talking about it because somebody, y'all talking about it in your living room. Y'all were talking about it at your house. So I'm telling you right now, man, it's going down, man. I'm going to get reality TV. Uh, reality TV, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Let me know, I'm man. What, what are your thoughts on... Uh, because you the one first. You sent me stuff on this. I wasn't going to speak on it. You know it. And I was like, man, I ain't going to talk. I ain't worried about no beef, rappers beef. But when somebody got shot, it's like, okay, now I better step up. Because I spoke on this. This People don't realize it, man, but my main thing was speaking on this early on. It wasn't these two guys. But it was two other guys, and it came to a screeching halt. I went viral talking about shooting. So it's in, I just, you know, I, I just, I don't like it when when when, when these people start shooting in, in, around this rap music, you know? Mm-hmm. So what did you I, think? So my, I'm going to tell you my take from it, and, and that's because uh, they also somebody vandalized his OVO. So I said that earlier that somebody vandalized his OVO. I I when I don't think that it would be Kendrick Lamar that does it, and I don't think people realize how much of an influence that people have for people, especially in the music industry. That's why it's so important to be careful about what you put out there. Wow. That's why. Um. Uh, D1 spoke on it. Shout out to D1. I love Shout D1. out to D1, man. D1 definitely he, been on the show. He talked about this before this even happened. So he talked about how we want the beef and when it comes to uh, the rapping and stuff. Because he's always, people always say that rap is a sport and it's not, it's art. So um, he talked about how us as our culture, we, we like the controversy. But when somebody gets shot and stuff like that, we always convicting people. Wow. Instead of standing up and stopping it. So, you know, I, I just... So, I, I, you got an interesting take on it, Reality TV. So, you say it's, it's somebody that's influenced in the beef because they love, maybe maybe side with Kendrick. Because, that, you, because we are. We, we're dividing these people. It, it, it has gotten to the point where people are saying, you know, people are... 
uh, colorist and, and all type of stuff, like telling secrets and stuff. That's why I hate the rap beef because I heard the baby, and the baby is one of my favorite freestylers. And, and rap, he's a rap artist. He's not just a rapper. But um, he, he said he don't want to be in none of the fake beef or, or beef with nobody because somebody probably will end up dead because he do go low. Well, can you can and, you blame him, though? You know, I mean, real real ones don't want to sit up here and say something. No, I, I definitely agree. And all this that's going on, I really, I'm sick of it. But this hip-hop, really too, baby, they've been doing... They, I'm going to be honest with reality TV. Hip-hop wouldn't even be on the level it's on right now if it wasn't for rappers going back and forth and, uh, you know, uh, doing it on but wax. there's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing with doing that. But to take it to a point to where somebody's going to die, I don't, I don't think it should be. No, I don't think nobody wants to see nobody die, but, you know, you got idiots out here who step up to the plate and start trying to do stuff to try to act like they in it. I mean, come on, man. This was a security guy. He outside of the gate. This could be any anybody trying to play games and act like they're part of something that they're not. It's all kind of ways you can look at this thing. But I believe we're going to start to hear more as this the news, as it's continue to develop. Like I said, some say it was a drive by. Some, some it could have been a walk up, but there are video how cameras. Can it be? I'm just confused at how is it like this is a huge estate. Everybody know about Drake. We know it's cameras. We know it's technology. How is it? Oh, it was just we don't know vehicles, we don't know this. Like that's what I'm saying. It could have been anything. It could have been a walk up. Make me think, is, is the government doing it? You know, well, is the government doing it? Or well, I, I don't know about that, but I can say that there are idiots out here who will joke, go and 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 pull a move, man. I know there's some idiots out here. No, we know. You remember when Megan and um, Nikki had their beef? They were going to her mother's grave and stuff like that. It's people out here that really are influenced by these people and like I said people don't know how big of an influence that music has over people wow thank you thank you for calling in man you well well said uh um man you know like I said uh um thank you and 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 you guys man take a look at this thank you reality TV man just take a look at what what reality TV is saying I I, I didn't think of it from her perspective at first but Let's just think about what she's saying. These people are, are influenced by this music. D1 said it um, on our show, uh, and 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 it, it, it meant a lot. It, it was something that was real. So just get in the comments. Let us know, do you agree that that it could be some outside source just trying to make a way out and make something out of nothing that they didn't even, they weren't even involved in? And, and man, uh, I pray for the guy who got shot. Um, I'm going to say this because... To have an allegation to be a pedophile is something huge, and it's people that really don't play about things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, well, there it is. Reality TV. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna end it on that. No, reality TV is throwing, uh, slinging iron out here, and, and really letting it, letting it be known that it's a lot of stuff being said on these rap songs that's influencing things. And I tend to think she she got something there, man. Let me know in the yeah. comments. Do you think in the comments, do you feel like uh, this is something that, that is caused by uh, 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 the, the music and the influence? Let us know, man. Like and subscribe to our channel, man. Boss Talk 101. Uh, man, we love you, bro. Make sure you become a member and get these behind the scenes. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes while we're reporting and talking about different things, man. Let us know what you think in the comments. Tell us, do you agree with reality TV? Do you feel like uh, this is happening because of the fact of, of the music and the influence? Or did somebody, is Kendrick involved in it? Like they trying to insinuate these reporters and stuff? Let us know, should they be doing that? Uh, thank you guys, man. Make sure you, uh, hey man, keep tapping in. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.